How are you all doing today, guys? My name is Infred, and I want to bring you guys a quick video here uh, talking about the Call of Duty Black Ops 3 trailer that uh, that has came out today. And I'm sure a lot of you guys have seen it, and I'm not going to put the uh, put the trailer in this video. If you guys want to watch the trailer, uh, I mean, just go to, like, Call of Duty's website or whatever, and you guys should be able to find that trailer. You guys should be able to watch it. But um, I would assume that uh, most of you guys have already, uh, have already watched it. So I want to give you guys my thoughts. I was on Twitter talking about it a little bit, but I never really gave you guys is my full opinion so I've watched a few you know other breakdown videos on it I, like I said I don't really want to give you guys a breakdown because lots of people do that um, I'm more uh, interested in you know giving you guys just what I think about it um, so first of all I want to start off and I mentioned this uh, it was kind of funny I was tweeting before I saw the trailer and I said like you know uh, we're gonna have faith in Treyarch and uh, you know they have never really let us down Call of Duty 5 World at War was great Black Ops 1 Black Ops 2 all great games um, a lot of people would say they're probably the best Call of Duty games games um some might disagree a little bit but um and then all of a sudden like a few minutes after that I, I watched the trailer and then I tweeted out like okay now I'm worried so um after I watched the trailer my first impressions were I was so nervous. I was like, oh no, like a lot of people didn't want to see the exo, exo abilities. Um, and I don't want to say it was really the, a lot of people are saying, you know, it's not exactly like the exo abilities. And I agree with that. Um, but, you know, it looks a lot like, to me, it looked like a Titanfall. Um, it looked like an advanced warfare. But even through all of that, I will say you could sort of tell it was a Treyarch game. And I don't know what it is, but while I was watching, I'm like, okay, it still looks like a Treyarch game and it still has the feel of Treyarch. So, um, at the time when I first watched it, I'm like, oh no, like this is, this is not looking good. I, I was so nervous. And then after I watched it a few more times, I gotta say, I, I have faith in Treyarch. I think they're going to make a good game. I mean, um, like I said, in Black Ops 1, it was a great Call of Duty. Black Ops 2, uh, you know, probably even better. Hard to say. It's depend what, depends what you guys think. Um, and I, I think honestly, Treyarch knows what they're doing. I mean, they've been making Call of Duties for a very long time. Um, they're like one of the original people. Um, so I, I do have faith in them. I think they're going to produce a really good Call of Duty. Um, so from what we see now, without actually playing the game, I don't think we should worry too much. But I will say, from what I've saw, I, I'm a little bit nervous. I mean, I was hoping, um, you know, in one breath, I was hoping to go back to the original Call of Duty, the old school and I feel like every year Call of Duty constantly puts out, um, you know, things that are trying to make it new and more improved from the year before. And that's cool. I mean, I like to see that. I like to see, you know, innovation, I guess you could say, on the Call of Duties. But on the other hand, you know, a lot of the people who've been constantly playing Call of Duty year after year, you know, I think, honestly, a, one, a good game that, uh, you know, they could put out would be one that, you know, is just back to kind of like the bare bones, the original Call of Duty. Get us that old feel. Um, so, I don't know. We're going to have to see how this one goes. Also, quick Quickly mentioning this gameplay in the background, not great. I don't play a lot of Uplink. Um, I, I actually wasn't even really sure how to play it during this game because I haven't watched too much of it or, or played too much of it. But I joined into this match a little bit late, I believe, and uh, so it wasn't a terrible gameplay. But anyways, so yeah, there's my opinions overall. The trailer itself scares me. I'm gonna be completely honest. It makes me a little bit nervous. Um, but I think Treyarch, I have faith in them. So overall, I think it's going to be a good game. I really do. Uh, the trailer just maybe it was different than I thought. Like, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Because I was expecting a totally different, like, it more had, like, uh, I think, like, an upbeat feel to it. And I was expecting a different type of trailer. It really, it really rattled me. Um, there was a few cool things in it, though. Like, the, the compound bow looked really sick. Um... And, uh, like, the bone arrow is very cool. Uh, I'm excited to see that. Um, and so, yeah, I don't know. Uh, overall, I mean, like I say, the trailer was, uh, it scared me a little bit. It made me a little bit nervous. But, uh, I mean, it, it was, it was decent. It's, uh, it, it, it just, it scared me because of the, all the exo jumping. And there was so much stuff, like wall running and all that. And that's what made me nervous. So, in terms of trick shotting, I think it's going to be a good trick shotting game. I really do. There's a lot of cool looking things in it that will probably make great trick shots. But anyways, this video is coming to an end. So, let me know in the comments what you you guys thought about the trailer i'm curious to see what you guys thought i mean on twitter it was all over the place there was people who were like come on uh, you know give it a chance there was other people who say oh my gosh that looked amazing and then there was other people who absolutely hated on it so uh here's my opinions uh, i sort of put them out there uh let me know what you guys think and anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this video that is infrared and i'm signing out guys later